Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google is rolling out Chrome version 118, which is now our latest release, which they started pushing out um, late yesterday in my region on the 10th of October. And with version 118 at the heart and core, really, it's a security update. There's not too much going on when it comes to front-facing new features. And, uh, and that's because, as I mentioned previously, version 117 um, started introducing the new UI refresh um, changes for 2023, where Google is applying and bringing more material U and rounded corners to the desktop browser, which, as you can see, I haven't received yet. So it seems that um, that is still on a controlled rollout, uh, depending on your region. But nonetheless, we'll have a look at that UI refresh shortly. But just to let you know that obviously, um, as mentioned, this is mainly a security update. So um, to double check our browsers up to date, as always, we head to our main menu, Help, About Google Chrome, latest version, 118.0.5993.71. So that point release should either be 0.70 or 71, depending if you are using Mac, Linux, or Windows. Now, this is an important security update uh, because it does address one critical vulnerability. And there are a total of 20 security fixes that have rolled out. And although there are no mention of zero days or exploits in the wild, we do get a critical issue that's been addressed, which is your highest ranked vulnerability, which once again is use after free, which is a common exploit in the open source Chromium project. And um, that's been patched with this update. And over and above the critical vulnerability, we get a couple of mediums and a couple of lows, which make up the rest of those security fixes that have rolled out, 20 security fixes in total. So just double check your browsers up to date because it is your first line of defense. Now with the security side of things, um, out of the way. Uh, just to let you know about a small change um, that I have noticed upgrading to version 118. And for this, we're gonna head to our settings head over to the appearance page and i have mentioned this before when it was still in preview but show images on tab hover preview cards has now made its way um, into the appearance page which i think is a nice move and just to give you an indication of what uh, this is all about if this is toggled on you'll see if i hover over a tab it shows a thumbnail image preview show images on tab hover preview cards and if I toggle this off and I do the same you can see now it just shows me the dialog without the thumbnail and the hover preview card and um, I did mention this um, a couple of months ago when it was still in preview and has now made its way into the stable version which I think is a nice move um, just making that a convenient setting now as part of the appearance. Now, as mentioned, it's just, just to have a quick talk about the UI refresh, which seems to be on a controlled rollout. I'm still not seeing major changes yet in the stable version compared to the preview versions. But if you find yourself in the same situation as me where you're not seeing the UI changes, what you can quickly do is head up to your Omnibox, enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, and we can enable two experimental flags which will bring about the changes if you are um you know not seeing the changes yet and want it sooner than later and here we get the two uh, chrome refresh 2023 flags and as i mentioned previously you just change both of those to enabled relaunch the browser and now you'll see um, when the browser is relaunched there is a couple of different things going on here you can see uh there's more padding and a heart difference here in the tab strip. We get a couple of different looking, more material. You um, the extensions button is transparent. Uh, the show side panel has also been upgraded to a more material U design. Um, the bookmarks folder has been upgraded. You can see uh, little changes here to the navigation pane and so on, and the navigation um, controls and so on. Uh, if we click on the main menu, we can see we get the little image previews of the different options available in the main menu we can access our profile from the main menu and you get the general idea so um, i have posted a couple of videos on chrome ui refresh so go check that out i'll leave the playlist for that in the end screen if you want more info so it just brings um that ui refresh with more material you rounded corner changes to the browser and just apply those two flags um, if you are not seen it yet and would like to get the upgrade and update to the UR refresh sooner than later.
Now, moving on to a couple of the other improvements that have rolled out, and I'm just going to mention one or two of these. Um, uh, these are taking place under the hood. As I've mentioned, not too many front-facing features. Now, um, with version 118, there is now encrypted client hello support, which basically protects the domain name from being leaked to network operators when you open sites and services. So in a nutshell, um, it's a bit of a privacy improvement that's rolled out with version 118. And uh, um, if we head back to our settings and we head this time to privacy and security, um, as I mentioned when I did the early stable uh, video, there's um, enhanced safe browsing, the security feature if you have it turned on. Um, standard protection is turned on by default, but if you're like me and you've toggled on enhanced protection, um, the enhanced safe browsing now gives Google the ability to disable extensions remotely that were not installed from the Chrome Web Store. So that's a bit of a security improvement. And another enhanced safe browsing change improves the deep scanning functionality of enhanced uh, protection. So um, I actually do suggest turning on enhanced protection. But nonetheless, um, those are a couple of changes that have rolled out there. And that's it, guys. That's more or less what's new in Chrome version 118. As mentioned, not too much going on when it comes to front-facing features. But um, you can apply those flags to bring on the UR refresh if you're not seeing it yet. And as mentioned, over and above one or two under-the-hood treatments, we get um, 20 security fixes rolling out as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.